Life systems operational. Hey y'all, Maggie here. Uh, this is our first episode, and today we are working on Blanco's block party. I'm going to show you how to log in and create an account. Um, so a lot of the things that I show here will be blurred for my safety, but um, you go ahead and follow along and you'll be able to do it just fine. So we're going to go over here to create account and go put in your first name and then your last name. And your email. And create a password. And pick your country. I'm in the U.S., so I gotta go all the way down. There we go. And your lovely birthday. Um, I was born in April. There we go. Agree to the terms. Of mythical and the bottom closed terms of the US. Go ahead and read those over. I already read them. Keep me informed on the latest Blanco's block party. Yes, keep this device logged in for 30 days. I don't do that and I don't suggest doing that either. Log in every time it's safer. Create account. Read the terms of use, agree to it, and then there we go. We should be ready to go. Here's the news bit. Tells you all the cool new little things that pop up. And um, if you click on one of these, you can get into the marketplace real easy from here. And you just click on that. We'll check that out another time. Right now we're just going to close out of there. We're going to hit play. And, ooh, create a display name. Must be 3 to 16 alphanumeric characters. Example 1, 2, 3, and A, B, C. So alphabet and or numeric uh no symbols or anything. So we're going to go with Moggy Games. And I have another one that's private. It's Moggy. And this one's going to be Moggy Games for this gaming channel. We're going to head and start and play. Just making sure it was spelled right. not launching. <laughs> Hit play anyway. See if it pops up. Oh, I still had that open from the last one. Okay. Play. I was still signed into my other account. Silly me. Alright, that's quite a bit loud in my ear. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this down so I can hear myself speak and grab a new battery for my vaporizer because it is a dead. Look at that, shaman. By the beats. A new Blanco. Get out here, noob. I'll show you around. Hmm. So there's the noob. Everybody starts with a free set of Blancos. You get this season 00 N O O B noob. 
and it is red and then after a little bit you unlock your second free Blanco and it ends up being um, blue and pink so anytime you see uh, one of these here they notice a lot of the veterans will take advantage of them <laughs> and they're always the first to get eliminated but you know everybody starts as a noob at one point so we're gonna go ahead and unbox him take him out of the box and play with him he is not an NFT and neither is the pink and blue one the one you get second these are just regular old Blancos typically on the bottom of the feet there they'll show um, like who made it and stuff information there so that's why they point at the feet because this is the noob it doesn't say anything on it shaman how to play I bet you're itching to get into a block party luckily the shamans here to show you a few moves so I'm playing with my controller uh, that I plug into my computer here and we got the left joysticks to move a is to drift jump, L trigger to sprint, and A to fly. There's not a lot of flying in a block party, but you know. Um, okay. So up top, we've got play, hit the right bumper here. We got party pass. Shaman, ah, the party pass. An exciting mystery to unfold. Finish 150 compete, complete challenges and test your skills in daily, weekly, and seasonal challenges. So, so far I've noticed I've played, I'm on my third season, um, that the seasons work quarterly through the year. So um, I don't know if that will change in the future or not, because uh, even though we are live right now we're not um big banding it yet so i don't know how long the seasons will be or if they're concrete but right now it seems we're running at quarterly um so get hype 150 stars there you got each challenge completed puts hype in your pocket right and you get rewards with your hype points so moolah is a, a soft currency and you get experience chips xp chips some blancos you get nfts you get more hype the more hype you bank the more rewards you can claim right now the party pass costs extra um and it's not a set in stone price either it seems to fluctuate season to season but the party pass lasts for an entire season and it's totally worth it because you can see on the oh my mouse isn't moving on the bottom of the screen is where um, you have your regular challenges and stuff that you can complete and you can play the game for free so you don't really need to purchase uh, the party pass but if you purchase the party pass you get like twice as much goodies and stuff as so in my book, it's totally, totally worth it. Um, plus you get exclusive NFTs and stuff that you wouldn't get if you were playing just, um, you know, out the box. So NFT party pass plus turn up your dip and grow your collection. Oh, drip. <laughs> turn up your drip and grow your collection with exclusive gear earned in the party pass plus. Uh, complete the challenges and you'll earn hype. Bring that hype to me for dope gear. The more hype you earn, the more exclusive swag you can claim. So, right off the bat here, if you have the party pass, you can unlock the... I can't move my mouse. Okay, right off the bat, you get Counselor Blaze. You get three, three hype points. Um, and then you also get... Like, here's the free bits that I was talking about. And with the party pass, you get the top bits, too. And this party pass is... Let's see, it says X to unlock. It's $24.99. So, 
That's pretty cool. I'm not going to unlock it for this one yet. I'll probably unlock it later. I've already got three accounts running in the household. Um, and two of which have already been unlocked for Quarry Pass. And I don't... I, I don't want to go dishing out $100 for Quarry Pass in the first month. So, um, yeah. But if you play the Quarry Pass, right off the bat, you get a free NFT, right? And... Uh, if you start as soon as the party pass comes out and as, as soon as the season starts, uh, which I'm in Texas, uh, usually around 3 p.m. Uh, this time here, um, if you're, if you're pretty quick and you go ahead and earn those three, those three points, then you can dig out ca uh, the NFT or Counselor Blaze really quickly and get a really high number or low number nft so like one of the first ones maybe even top 10 if you're quick enough <clears throat> those guys will be worth a lot more money later so assets let's see so i took a little over a week break because we were traveling uh work renaissance festival like that Glamour flex or cool moves and stuff. So this is the moolah. Mm, that's the soft currency. This is the experience chips. You can use those to add to your blancos. And these are the blanco bucks. They are the hard currency here. Um, so you get far less of that, and you can turn blanco bucks into moolah. You can also buy blanco bucks. Um, on my Moggy account, uh, look, did you see that? Sage S'mores, Trekkers, I already got those. My daughter got those too, so. Ah. I think I'm right here at 111. So it's like. I'm stuck in the fallout zone. <laughs> um, yeah, because I just unlocked that forest for and it was really pretty. Gumballs. You can use gumballs to mesh up and change the colors of your Blancos. Um, you don't have to open those Blancos too, you can keep them in the box. But you can use them to change the colors. Um, and if you don't want to change the color of your Blanco, you can use those to as like a currency in itself to upgrade your Blanco after you get it to a certain experience level uh, and to head to the next tier you have to either give Blanco bucks or moolah and a set amount of gumballs so the higher the level like my rough and tumble little unicorn guy he's um he's a wrecker and he is at excellent um something right now last i checked it was nine he's probably higher now but excellent something and if i that that in order to get him from excellent or, or great to excellent was i think it was 12 gumballs but then it was like six gumballs or something beforehand so i imagine the next one or the next tier up is going to be even more gumballs and those gumballs are like 300 Blanco bucks or Moolah, one of the two. They, they end up being quite expensive, so you want to try to earn as many of those as possible, which is another reason why the party pass comes in handy. Alright, so shelf. Shaman, this is your shelf. A sacred space of sports. Here's where your Blancos wait to play. So, uh, we got Glitter Goth up here. Uh, it says manage your collection, unbox new Blancos, sort your collection, and more. Customize your Blancos. Mesh up, upgrade, and make every Blanco unique. You can. So you can use different gumballs and different patterns, make different uh, 
meshes. So you, if you do something pretty intricate, chances of somebody else copying and or getting the same Blanco you had are very slim. Gear up and choose the perfect fit and ideal accessories to party hard. Um, well, I think one of the free things that you get in your outfit, whatever, is a pair of sunglasses. They're like jumbo sunglasses. Uh, I see a lot of the noobs wearing them on their blog posts. Uh, and that's not an NFT. Um, but they do, they, there, there are plenty of NFT uh, accessories. Uh, create your crew. Select your favorite Blancos for quick access in any game. And I'll show you what they're talking about there. So um, here you actually have four slots. Like this one here, that's our first slot. And then right adjacent to it, there's three blank spots. And you can't see them segregated right now, but there's, there's three blank spots right there. And then the Blancos end up getting stacked up top as well. I always move my noobs way, 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 way up to where you can't see. Um, I can't see my mouse on here because I'm screen recording. <laughs> but I always move way, 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 way up out of the way because I've got a ton of Blancos up here. And I've actually got a row on top of my box of open Blancos that I'm working on. And then the row down here. This primary box though with this glowing outline, these are the four Blancos that you get to switch in between games. So while you're in the quote unquote waiting room, waiting for your next uh, round, um, you can hold down the right trigger if you're using the mouse or the controller and it will propped a screen that shows you three of your other Blancos. The reason why it shows three is because you're already one of the four that you had chosen or that you had equipped it within this row. So the other three remaining will be there. And then once you pick one of those Blancos, when you click it again, it'll show you the Blanco that you just changed out of. So you can continue to circulate between those. And if you want to choose later, you can go ahead and grab a different Blanco and move it into your boxed area here and then move you know just switch them switch them about so that's where the crew goes and if i click on him uh you can see the details noob is fair level one you can boost him with experience points there and the next here is only uh 200 moolah <clears throat> we only need 350 experience to go ahead and level him up. It's like super, super easy. Uh, Noob was made by Mythical. He is season blah, issue number blah. I don't think they're recorded at all. Uh, artist Mythical. Welcome to the Junction Blanco. You're new, out of the box or noob. <laughs> new and out of the box, cute. As we say, take some time to explore and figure out what makes you new. Every Blanco is different, and even noobs have special skills. Have fun figuring out what you can do. So you can click the X here to mesh up, but you don't have anything to mesh up with right now. Remix your look. <clears throat> Tips and tricks on the side of the screen's nice. I love the space girl over there. I want to get her. So, yes. Press X and hold to customize your Blanco. You can push A here to change your Blancos, but right now, really, you only have the one. Ooh, you see on the side of my screen here, the right side, it's got the little yellow thing. If it's yellow, it means we're having some connective kind of issues here with the Wi-Fi, and if it's red, it means it's like worse. So I'm having some sort of connective issue. Uh, the sample over here would be an example of some other Blanco you could choose in order to mesh up with the Blanco that you have on your splice area. But since we don't have anything, we're going to go ahead and push escape. Yes, exit, return to desk. <clears throat> My husband's farting over there asleep. Message of the day. Visage by Surreal. We're going to check that out another time because I don't know what, what point you guys are going to be seeing this video. So right now it doesn't matter. Gem Rush is on. Kit 
<laughs> Hello, Collector. I'm Kit. Shaman sent me to tell you about Gem Rush, a progression algorithm for Blancos. It's pretty trippy and totally awesome, but it's kind of more for the pro zone. Um, unless you have a bunch of money that you can just throw down. So play up and you can get it there by all means. Go for it. That's what I'm heading towards. Uh, Raid up. Use experience chips, gumballs, moolah, and blanco bucks to upgrade two. Two as in numerical two separate blancos that are exactly the same. Uh, blancos to excellent level 15. Okay. So once they get to excellent level 15, you can go ahead and fuse them together. Fuse your maxed out base blancos together to create an all new mint blanco right and grade up again complete the previous steps two times so grade up both blancos and then use them together do it two more times all the way to mint level 15 and then fuse again the final fuse fuse to max out mint blancos together to create an ultra rare gem mint blanco so you see how the visually change as you progress, it's totally awesome. Oh, I skipped some high reading. Uh, kit, to gem rush, two identical Blancos at maximum grade you must fuse together, yielding self to be, yielding self to be more. Uh, oh, that's right. To fuse the two of them together, you get one, one. A new Blanco is minted with unique abilities. What an exciting proposition. Alright, so here we, go. Here we got the shop <sighs> featured. Here we've got Nadine, the most adorable sink or swim hippo. Stay in your lane. She ends in 26 days from now. Onion King Kirby sold out. It says he didn't really sell out, but he reached his date. Um, he re reached his date with a max supply of 1,872 sales. So that's a lot of Blanco bucks. <laughs> um, yeah, so eventually some of those will get burnt and that number will actually go down. <clears throat> the vault, the value of him will go up. So we got, oops, <sighs> Blancos. <laughs> we just went through those. Um, accessories. That's what I was just talking about a little bit ago with like the glasses and whatnot. Uh oh, I didn't buy the hat. I didn't much care for the hat though. The GG nozzle cap. He came with the Griff. Griff kid, graffiti, Griff kid, graffiti kid, basically. Um, yeah, so the helmet's cute, but I don't, I don't know what this is. Chain of command, gum bag. I didn't like the fanny pack thing about it, so I didn't get it. The rivet visor is not an NFT, so I didn't bother. The shoes are not an NFT, so I didn't bother. I really like sticking with the NFTs. I do have the Ghost King spray cannon. I might have more than one of those. Um, and they're not available anymore either, with a max supply of 1,018. Um, and you can burn those if you wanted to and make the ones you have more valuable because there's even fewer of them. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Shoot. Okay. Emotes. So those are the things that you saw where it was making the noob dance and stuff. The point of pride and the robot gives you cool little little bits and doodads that you can do and interact with other um, Blancos as you go, uh, like especially while you're in the waiting game. Uh, consumables. So here's your experience chips. You can earn experience, right? By playing the game or you can spend monies 
actual tangible real life monies on your experience chips where you can pay to play instead of working your butt off to get there if you can afford to do that and want to do that I mean by all means but I'm an achievement player and I prefer to earn my way up anyway um, yeah so they got the 20 times 2,000 experience chips that's 40,000 total experience quite a bit that's 2,000 Blanco bucks we got five times five times so you got five times in Blanco bucks for 500 Blanco bucks and you got five times for 10,000 new laws um, Lala Nectar gumball grape gumball you see how much the gumballs are that adds up blueberry blueberry slosh tangerine tingle gumball licking lemon Ooh, I like the licking lemon fruit punch gumball sour apple slap and punchy plum all right so currency dang it keep hitting that button currency we already went through the Blanco books here that's the hard currency so you can get 10,000 plus a little bonus of 2,500 uh, so 12,500 Blanco bucks for $99 and 99 cents 100 bucks um, I like looking down here so a hundred Blanco bucks is about a buck and I think you save like 12 bucks or something if you get the big win it's really it doesn't make too much of a difference as far as bonus stuff goes but about a hundred Blanco bucks is a dollar and you get like 10 and 20 Blanco bucks for rewards very few and far between so really you're only making a few cents here and there of hard-earned cash now you can trade those Blanco bucks for moolahs the soft currency to spread it a little bit further among other things some things only take blanco bucks and some things only take moolah and most of the things you can choose and, and use interchangeably so right now we're still on season zero as you can see up there at the top right hand corner of the screen above currency there you can see i have zero moolahs and zero blanco bucks if we uh right bumper over to social here you can see with friends no friends because you just watched me create an account uh, requests would go here um, if you want to play in groups you can go ahead and add a group person there um, let me see if we add a friend I'm gonna go ahead and add a friend and hit M A U G I E that's my rough and tumble. I'm gonna go ahead and invite requests. I'll accept my friend requests later in my headphone. I got like a hair tickling my ear. All right. Shoot, I always do that. Uh, group. So you can choose up to six players and play together right uh, your group travels between Blanco parties and the junction together when the leader selects where you go next max group size is six and then recently met Blancos because we have not played a single brawl yet then um, we have not been introduced into any new Blancos so once we play a game, all the people we've played with will show up on this screen here. Uh, party bus. This is a good place for you to practice, but it's also a good place for you to go ahead and uh, practice with your friends. And then you got join codes here. So they got a code. Uh, they can message it to you or tell it to you. You guys can play together there. <sighs> Excuse me. So, you've got races where you probably want to go ahead and use a fast one. So, there's different types of styles that you can use. 
um, for your Blancos. Uh, we haven't chose one for our noob yet. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if we can. We'll see. Uh, but you would choose a Wrecker, uh, which is like the Hulk, strong and brute force. And then they have the, uh, I think it's called a Tracker or Tracer Tracker. And he's the, uh, like the jokester sets traps and triggers and stuff. And then you have the Tracer. And that's the fast one. So you'd want to use like your race. You'd want to use your tracer. For shooters, you could use um, your wrecker or, well, really, you could use any of your blancos for the race or the shooter. It just depends on what kind of shooting game it is and what you feel comfortable with. I suck, suck at shooting games. Um, so I always dread when I see them. So I noticed that there are um, some things in a lot of those maps that make the game easier and hit tips and tricks and hidden hints and stuff. And I'll show you the ones that I do know as we go. Uh, vibe Collect. So the vibes are these little lightning bolts and they start at purple and they're small and uh, they're worth like the mo most minimal amount of energy and then they go to uh, blue and then from blue to I think yellow and then yellow to orange and orange is the biggest and the most valuable so it's the one you want to seek the most of uh, but you click these vibes it's like a Easter egg hunt. Whoever ends up passing, having the most eggs at the end wins. So the most fives wins. And you can hit other Blancos or KOA, uh, kill, like knock out the Blancos. And that will uh, cause them to drop some of their vibes. So you can steal vibes from other players. Um, some shooter games or vibe collections are also shooting games and sometimes there's uh, vibes in a race and sometimes the vibes count as energy for like if you're flying uh, how much how much how long you can keep in the air or uh, vibes count for if you're running uh, so you're like your stamina and your stamina bar will drop down real low if you're low on vibes and if you hit like a purple vibe it'll go up a little bit and if you hit like a yellow vibe it'll go up considerably and if you hit like an orange vibe it like maxes your bar real quick there's also ah, dropping my controller there's also these green glowy squares or blocks um, that look like a risen kind of force field. Those re up your um, stamina, if you will. And then there are orange glowy ones, which just the opposite. It slows down, <clears throat> slows your your bonko real real well. So, and these are like ever changing and like completely random. Uh, used to you be able to favorite them and I have not seen that in a while so I don't know if they're still doing that all right so we're gonna go over to settings uh, we got the keyboard mouse controls gamepad camera graphics audio account credits help I ain't messing with any of that today so there we go <clears throat> let us play our first raw noob Fair level one here. Next stop, Blanco Brawl. Stage one. Versus versus. Oh, that's right. Sometimes you guys can be um, teamed up and the losing team is eliminated while the winning team qualifies for the next round. And sometimes you can play on a team again. They'll split you guys up even further. Uh, but then... A lot 
a lot of the time, most of the time, you guys are playing free-for-all, so individually. Um, and there's usually three rounds. Um, I hit four sometimes. And then um, I've seen it tie once on the final fourth round. Once. And the game crashed. So I don't think they were prepared for that. <laughs> Nobody knew what happened. All right, so we're gonna hit next. Uh, next up, Blanco Brawl. And it comes down to the final. Are you running head to head here? Like that, Billy Bone Six. He's real cute. I'm gonna get him one day. It's like 120 something dollars right now on the mythical marketplace. <clears throat> one day. Um, yeah, so right now it's searching for a brawl and it's counting up and then when it finds a brawl it'll count down. Grabbing myself a battery for my vape vape because I didn't do that a second ago. <coughs> Still searching for a brawl. Make sure I got some soda nearby. <sighs> some flat soda. My husband always crunches the two liters and for some reason makes them really noisy. So, sorry in advance. Hmm. ATV's Dr. V. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Still alert, searching for a brawl. It doesn't usually take that long. I might have spent too long checking stuff out and explaining things that it disconnected. It can be a little touchy at times. Might need to restart it. And me thinks that might be the case. Won't let me exit either. Okay. We're gonna escape this exit. Exit! Alright, we're gonna go ahead. Pow pow! Open that back up. Early access. It's been going forever. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're back in. Did I pick uh, what I want this dude to be? Skills. Ah, here we go. We checked out accessories and stuff and emotes, but we didn't do that. So, foundation perks. We got one unlocked here. And uh, uh, we can't do shit about it right now. Back. Okay. This one we can. Why are these all unlocked? Is it because of the noob? Alright. Go single. Go. Uh, light foot. Let's you pass through other Blancos. I didn't pick what I wanted it to be. I'm confused. 
Is it a tracer? Heavy handed. Vibe funnel. Coral slate collection mask from further away. Reduce knockback. Oh! I've seen some careers keep their noobs and use them the whole time. So, that's definitely what they were doing. Huh. Maybe I'll work on my noob bit. Because these are not available for other other things. Alright. So, Twirl lets you collect vibes from further away. We're going to go ahead and try that one. And the on, we got Rejuvenate, Reduce, Boost, Cool Down by 5 seconds. Heavy Handed, Twirl deals an additional 20 damage, but takes longer to recharge. Sure Step and Reduce Knockback while boosted. Gain increased height from jumping with the Twirl. Spin up. Huh. Listen, Girl Life that lets you pass through it. Oh, let me kick it. I'm not a level 5, I'm level 1. Respawn from knockout dramatically faster. Eh. Energy. No glasses? Weird. Maybe we earn those later or something. Okay, I'm at a loss there. But let's go ahead and play and see what's going on. It's been a while. <clears throat> but yeah, I've seen I've seen careers keep their noobs. I always wondered why. Searching for a brawl forever. Eventually. Why? What was I saying? It doesn't usually take that long. There we go. Brawl found. Now they're finding other Blancos to add to the party. Cactuses, they uh, they hurt. <clears throat> Here we go, let's crawl. That took forever. Mountain trip. Another noob. 
And some other news. Testing out their stuffs. the only one I got. No, there's no. I, li I usually like to stand over here next to this guy. Oh. He's the squidget. On top of the speaker. Oh, I don't like this one. was a trap trigger. Oops, going. That's the slow down thing I was talking about there. Say watch out! The wall's gonna close! Jump, jump, jump! I'm gonna get kaboom. Smash. Smash, smash. I should have hit that green charge there. None of these keys work, but I'm expecting to try to use my other Blancos and it's not working for me. And my commands are the same. But we're just playing as a move anyway, so it okay. Sticks to place. Not doing so good. Oof, don't miss those at all. Never want to miss them. Fuck, I hit me. Little ship. Run, 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 run. Yeah, nothing's worse than being in like uh, first, second, or third place and then don't hit that water. And then um, missing your damn hole and thinking you're winning and you're not. <laughs> Alright, so when you finish early, uh, you can watch the other players who are still behind you. You can switch between them. See what they're up to. We got a noob. It looks like they might be stuck. Lily bed. Lily. Lily. Bed. 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 Sorry, my child's out of bed. It's well past her bedtime. She was messing around in her closet. Didn't hear me. I scared her. <laughs> Alright, vibes. Of course, there my signal starts acting up. So here's when you can go ahead and like click that button, and then you're about to skip the game tutorial. You receive all the rewards from the tutorial. You transport back to the junction where you'll find the blue portal to jump into that. Get right back to action. Huh? Jetpack, additional block dot. Okay, 
Yeah, I don't want to play this tutorial anymore. You guys saw it. Skipping the tutorial. Anyway, a different game. Going back to the desk. Alright, Shaman. How to play. Okay, okay. Grandpappy, hey young blood, Pappy's got a treat for you. Yep. And it's finally here to show you how to brawl. Team up, take down. FFA, bruise or lose. Get pinned and champ. Yeah, so like that golden Blanco right there is on sale right now on the mythical marketplace for five million dollars. All right, so team up and take down. Team up for one stage and whittle down your rivals. Only the winners move on. Bruise or lose from stage two. It's a free for all frenzy. You get to fight for your right to final. <laughs> um, get pinned. Win or lose, you earn Brawl Pin for achievements in every brawl. Get more pins and climb the ranks. Uh, final. Only one Blanco in final can be crowned the champ. Party the hardest to get the gumball. Gumball? What gumball? Uh, I'm gonna have to check that out on my other one because I don't remember getting any damn gumball. All right, so up here we got shoot more stuff to talk about. I already read all that stuff. Okay, right. so here we unlock Mula. La la la. We got a new Blanco. Do you want to unbox it? Uh huh. Yes, unlock it. Unbox it. You don't always want to open your. Damn it! Cancel. I don't want to be a trickster. What just happened? Be cancel. I didn't open it. Ah, cancel. I can only pick a trickster? Whatever. Something's going on over here. Alright, so we ready? Something's not working! Okay, trickster. Uh, not much I can pick from here. Swoop shield. After dashing, gain a heavy health shield for one, five seconds. No. Your gum trap deals 40 damage over four seconds. Whenever you take damage, we gain the dash charge. Battery pack, your dash has an extra charge. Your traps last longer. Widen the net. Last longer before being tripped. Increase the trigger area, and we're going to go ahead and do that one. Alright, so now we got a jetpack and some sunglasses. We, we look a newbie. Uh huh, uh huh, you like that? Good. Trickle. Oh, that explains why it had to be. Trickster. That makes sense. 
All right. So if you play all the way through on here, I would assume that your little guys on top, if you wanted to do your party pass later, would also unlock. That would just make all the sense in the world. All right. So what do we got here? Where do red gem rush? He's already open. Maybe play an actual ball this time. Big one. We read these already. Where did you do the tutorial? Maybe I just screwed up, guys, because I picked to skip the tutorial. <clears throat> Five hundred moolah, three little experience things, three stars. Bra found. La la la. I really dig guapos. It never gets boring, and they sound kind of like minions, which is. Awesome. <laughs> you know what? Let's exit out of this Blanco thing here and we're just going to close the windows. We're going to sign in to my original account. So, um, yeah, that was the basics on how to sign in and create an account and the run through. Let's go ahead and, um, show what it looks like once you get to go in. Now you leave that noob stage. Introduce you to some other Blancos too. While we go. Oh yeah, and I sent myself a friend request. <laughs> Gotta accept that. There I am. Yeah, excellent level 9. That's what it was. We're gonna go over here to social requests. And that is me. <laughs> accept that request. Mm -mm -mm. Like that. <clears throat> Yeah, and that's right where I was. Well, I thought it was 111. Well, it looks like I'm just a couple ahead of it. Forest for Alright. So, we start off, I think, at like rank... Well, right now in game, rank 4,444. Uh, I haven't been playing for a few days, so my rank uh, dropped considerably, and I am now at 522. Um, my dailies reset because it starts in the afternoon for me here in Texas. Uh, yeah, and you can see I had already done the party pass there, so I unlock the top ones as I go. Is that something about a gumball? I don't... Let's see... Let's just take a peeky peek at what, let's use the maxi mouth. We're going to go to mesh up just to see what that gumball was. Cause it said I earned a gumball, but I don't remember seeing a gumball. Alright, 
So we're just gonna hold X because we want to see the gumballs. Forest ferns, one I just iron, sour apple splash, and coming up for roses pink. Eh. Yeah, I don't. Maybe it was the pink one? I don't know. Alright, well, we're going back. We're gonna exit out of this. Oh, here, I can show you how you. Uh, Change the color of your Blanco though. We're gonna hold. Oops. We want to choose a Blanco though. Okay, change Blanco. Oh, he can't be meshed? Okay. I got. I don't want to change the color of mine. Blancos, but we'll just use one to see what. Okay, add a Blanco. Oh no, he can be he can be meshed. Anyway, I love my Krampus the way he is, but we're gonna go ahead and see what he looks like meshed with Maxi Mouth. Cause he's pretty light in color. We'll just see what happens. So we can. Fuse these two together for a preview. I should take Maxi Mouth, yeah, and transfer bits of him over there. Ew! Or we can't. Ah! Oh. Maybe that was it. Just a pinch blend gumball. Ew. Or the rose pink. Trippy. Green. So we're gonna go back. And uh, we're gonna come over here to clear Blanco. And if we hold with no Blanco and just use gumballs, we can see what the difference is. This Krumpus is already colored, though. I don't know how many colors they had laid on top of him in order to get that one. I actually bought this Krumpus as a record in use. Uh, it was the first time I had ever bought an unboxed Blanco. I'll show you the marketplace in just a minute, too. But first, today's daily, we're going to grab 200 vibes in Blanco Brawl, strike another Blanco 20 times in a brawl, and use two different Blancos in a brawl. Easy enough. Play brawl. <clears throat> oh, I didn't show you the other Blancos. We'll do that in a bit. Maybe it took longer to find a game during the tutorial. Usually it doesn't take very long. Or maybe not enough people are playing right now. But it still has not found them. A bit odd. Cancel that and we'll just go show you some Blancos. So over here, as I was explaining, this cube or square or whatever, this is your four main guys. Remember what I was talking about? There was the one here with our new and then there's blank spaces. Um, that's 
just what these three are. So here I've got my Wrecker, Rough and Tumble. I've got my Wrecker, uh, Krumpus. I tend to favor the Wreckers. I do that with other games too, though, like Skyrim and stuff. I like to play as like the Ogre and go with the Brute Force, close up and personal. Um, this is my little trickster guy and my tracer. Uh, Nadine just came out, so she's pretty new. My uh, tracer beforehand was um, Tigra, and I made her look like a water rally. And she's got a banana jetpack on her back. Little Lev was my first NFT. And Maxi Mouth is just one of the ones I had to have, but I don't really play with him much. I've got him on, uh, boxed up, boxed up here, and that's what Crumpus is supposed to look like. That's him in the box, and that's the one I bought used on the marketplace. I don't have another rough and tumble. Um, I really regret not buying more of him when he came out and I'm not going to make that mistake again. Because the unicorn's fabulous. <laughs> but yeah, so here's some uh, boxed Blancos that I have not opened and don't want to open anytime soon. We've got the Maxi Bell, the... <sighs> what is it? Gillid? Gillid? Zero? Nick? Nijiko? She's adorable. Each one says their own little thing too, like if you click on her. Uh, it says, Early Access Edition. Hi, I am Mikio. Nijiko, follow me to the land of fairies. This is, this is my best friend, Queenie, from my flower. She needs to buy honey tea. Try some. One taste that you'll want to stay forever. You do, so she might sting you. See <laughs> you. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Octioid, Dead Word, Dash, Graffiti Kit, Graph Kit. Got a couple of them. Uh, King. Carrot. Um, Scarlet Crash, Master Gin. Lapis, the Mach 63. I've got the Secret Tech 63. I need to get the other ones of him too. Uh, this one, this one is uh, number seven. I was traveling from Texas to Tennessee when this guy was released and um, it was already in the un over the hundreds mark and I wanted to get within the first top 10. I was pretty bummed about it so I ended up just buying one that somebody bought and resold boxed so uh, instead of being the I think it was like $270 or something then uh, I paid it was like 460 I think for for him Lord. Hopefully he'll be worth a lot more later. <sighs> um, King Kirby Nautilus is adorable. Oh, why are you down there? I resort these. South Paw, which is actually a chick. Uh, Mach 63, also need a res good resort those. They got mixed up somewhere. Um, clown. Majo. I didn't know I had one of her. Huh. Okay. Uh, clown. Brain case. I love brain case. He looks like he's got uh, Mike Lebowski or whatever from Monsters Inc. inside him. Uh, South Paul again. Katina. Uh, Keisha the Demon Eater. Got a few of her. Keep rocking. Uh, Finder of Lost Souls. That's like one of the first ones up there. OGs. Oh, Nelson. K. 
counselor blaze just got him uh remember we were talking if he got the party pass he was like the first one we earned the first three stars keisha the demon eater uh nadine's and this heartbreaker bunny so on the top of him it looks like he's got ears that are tied back like a ponytail uh but you could excuse me buy rabbit ears for him in accessories and a cute little rabbit tail i have them on this one here who does not want to spin here we go cute 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 <clears throat> that's this guy gruff kid and i made him a different color he gets this white i put ears and stuff on him like that uh, uh, uh. Alright, maybe we can join a brawl now. Tell you what, this is the first time I've ever had a problem finding a brawl. Ever. The day I decided to do the intro. <sighs> I don't even I'm like not the biggest like unicorn my daughter is so of course and uh I seen him and I was just like he's perfect I need him I didn't bother changing his colors or anything. He's like straight out of box. And I just added some accessories to him. Ooh, accessories. I'll show you guys that after we get out of this ball. Zero. There we go. Race. Night race. <clears throat> We're gonna switch to Nadine. In. There we go. Now that shows you the other three. There's Nadine. We're gonna go ahead and pick her. Now on her back, I have a a bubble thing like a jetpack, but um, because this is not a flying um, brawl, then your flying accessories don't show. Also, if you're playing, excuse me, I'm up too late. If uh, if you're playing a flying game, um, a lot of them will give you a jetpack that you could run into if you don't have a flying accessory. And if you have a flying accessory and run into that, you won't see it anymore. It'll be the the loner. <clears throat> You don't lose your stuff, but my signal's weak. Hey, that was rude. Oh, I missed. Dang, see, that's not a typical noob. No, don't hit that. 
That was definitely a career. Let's not go this race. Can you tell? I always miss that one. Two. There's another one up here. There we go. Yeah, and then I have to like go back for it. That's totally lame. Whee! We want to hit this guy. And then into this one. This thing. <laughs> oh no, don't do it. Signal sucks. Stupid cactuses, I told you, don't hit them. Shit. Get. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm gonna finish in fifth place. Weak. Oh no! Boing. Shit. Fuck it. Evacuation sequence activated. <laughs> <laughs>